Hi guys, Rishi Sunak's problems just got worse as two of the, I don't know how many deputy chairmen of the Conservative Party, Lee Anderson and Brendan Clark Smith, have issued letters of resignation, which means that the Prime Minister will have to accept them. This is of course over the Rwanda bill and how Tory rebels wanted amendments added that they see as closing loopholes, but in reality would deem the bill further in breach of international law. Sky News picked up the story. Already we've got those two amendments, uh, voting on Pill Cash's amendment, then Robert Jemrick's amendment, and all eyes now really as well on tomorrow and just how big this rebellion might be. Uh, the message from rebels who I have to say are keeping their counsel at the moment. They're not really talking to the press. They're doing it quite consciously uh, in order to just negotiate with the government. But the message very clear that they have put these amendments down in good faith. They think they have reasonable legal arguments. Uh, they thought the prime minister would negotiate with them and now they expect him to do so. Uh, and if he does, that if he doesn't, sorry, questions are whether uh, there might be a rebellion tomorrow. We have a handful uh, of MPs saying that they will vote against the third reading if the bill isn't changed. That includes Robert Jenrick, who confirmed that to me this morning, Swella Braverman, Simon Clark, all former cabinet ministers saying that they uh, will vote down the legislation. The question is how many more will join them. 29 Conservative MPs uh, voting against could uh, sink uh, the bill potentially. So it's a tightrope for the Prime Minister over the next 24 hours. Yeah, tightrope, uh, certainly. We're currently looking at those shots of the House of Commons, so we'll obviously dive straight back in as soon as we get a result uh, on that Bill Cash amendment. And Beth, as you were speaking, I've just been handed the letter, the joint letter, uh, signed by both Lee Anderson and Brendan Clark Smith, so clearly two men really working uh, in tandem here. Uh, they say we're elected in 2019 to on the promise that we would get Brexit done and take back control. They on, go on about uh, how important uh, tackling illegal migration is, and then they say it's therefore important in terms of credibility that we're consistent with this. See, we keep coming back to Brexit for some reason. The idea that, oh, well, these guys were elected in 2019 to get Brexit done, and part of Brexit was to bring down immigration, and Rishi Sunak is not bringing down immigration, or he's not uh, taking back control as Boris Johnson had promised. The bill, when it goes to a vote probably tomorrow, is, is probably going to pass. I, I don't think the rebels have enough numbers. Um, because Rishi Sunak is also not going to renegotiate this. He has said on a number of occasions that if he were to renegotiate, Rwanda would say, we, would, we will no longer allow you to send people to our country. It's already in breach of international law. The United Nations has said that this bill is not worth the paper it's written on. And you already have members of the Conservative Party who want to go further. So I don't see how this bill is going to be amended. Uh, Bill Cash and um, whoever else, uh, J Robert Jenerick, who wanted to have their amendments added, they're not going to pass. And, of course, the rebels will not vote for it, but I think Rishi Sunak will probably have the numbers to pass. But uh, as, they was, as it was pointed out here, it's on a knife edge. It's, uh, there's a risk that it will not. Now, either way, I don't see this actually being implemented because it's going to eventually go to the House of Lords and they will try to amend it, but they're not going to accept something that is in breach of international law, is disrespecting the Supreme Court. So I don't know how, even if Rishi Sunak wins this vote within Parliament, I don't know how forward he can go with this. But tomorrow will be a, d a day of high drama. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.